Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Total Picture. We've got something special for you today, so let's get right into it. So last week we talked about how we are finished up with our corn harvest for the year, and we've had a lot of conversations about what we do with our corn after it gets here. So we've taken your green sort, we've showed you the process where we get it into our facility, get it sorted, get it husked, and then we take it to the dryer where we get it to the right moisture level. And then we've showed you that we take it to our sheller where it tumbles around on itself to get the seeds off the cob. So now we're at a point where our president, Aaron Conaway, is gonna take you on a quick tour of our seed corn processing facility. We'll really get to see how we sort through our seeds and how we get to the final product that is packaged uh, and ready to go out to our customers. So without any further ado, I will hand it over to our president, Aaron Conaway. Now we get to the first step of our process. We have two pieces of equipment that we're going to talk about. The first piece of equipment is a, is a cleaner or a scalper. The same piece of equipment we use right after our sheller. So we do a rough cleaning with the scalper um, right after we shell it before we put it into the corn into the bin so it'll store better. Um, when we bring corn from the bin into the tower, we put them into these bin, overhead bins getting ready to feed this scalper. What we do with this scalper is we're, we set the top screen and the bottom screen for, for our facility. So what I mean by that is this top screen has a 25 64th of an inch hole. The bottom screen in this has a 15 64th of an inch hole. That looks like this. So what we do is we flood this, we flood this scalper with corn. Any corn that fits through the top of this hole uh, or doesn't fit through the top of this hole, will fall off the screen and will be uh, discarded. It's too big to, to bag for, for seed. Anything that can't, anything that falls through the little hole at the bottom of the screen, the 1564th, it gets discarded. It's too small to stay for seed. Everything in between then falls off the end of the scalper and gets aspirated. Gets uh, light chips blown out of it, gets dust blown out of it. It's the first step of cleaning. The next machine is a uh, color sorter. This is a Sataki Evolution color sorter, one of the newest ones on the market. It's able to see color and shape. These machines continue to improve because the old machines that we used to have would only see, would only see um, the differences in, in a backlight. This can really see uh, kernels of corn like, like your eye can see. And what it does is we, we from the scalper, we load the hopper above the color sorter. It gets um, directed into these channels. These channels then go through the machine where cameras are looking at them. And the cameras are able to look at them from all different directions and look for defects. And if it sees a defect, it tells the ejector that there's a defect coming in or this is a bad kernel coming and we want to inject it out with a blast of air. So after the camera sees it, it, it tells the ejector to hit it with a blast of air, to eject it, it gets ejected. The cool thing is that we can pull up the discards or the seed that's been uh, rejected up here on the screen. We can spin it around, we can look at it, we can decide if whatever it's discarding is what we want it to discard. So some of the seed has red stripes, for example. And if it starts discarding seed that has red stripes, we can go in and say, hey, if those red stripes are good. Don't discard them. Or if it starts to see different things on the kernel that aren't actually bad, we can tell the machine, don't discard the, that is good. When you see that next time, keep it. The other thing um, that's unique about this machine or fun about this machine is seed has to be discarded twice in order for it to be completely discarded. So we have, these are all set up in channels. There's this far left channel is a rerun channel, which means all the product that gets discarded the first time, gets routed back to that um, separate channel and gets ran through again. So in essence, a kernel of corn has to be bad two times in order for it to be gone and uh, discarded for good. We actually have three gravities. Here are two gravities. They're Forsberg gravities. We have another gravity in the room next door that we'll go look at in a minute. But this is where we've split our tower in half right here. After it's gone through the six by, we split it in half. So this gravity is running all flat. This gravity is running all rounds. So what I mean by that is large flats, little flats, all flats combined are going over across this gravity. Same thing with the rounds. 
the real design of this gravity is a density separator. And that is to take anything out that has light density. It's a little easier to explain on the other gravity, so let's go next door. So here's our third gravity that we have. We're, we have three gravities because if we have a hybrid that has a lot of flats, we can run one gravity out there on flats and we can run this gravity on flats. In reverse, if we have a hybrid that has a lot of rounds, we can then run one gravity out there on rounds and this gravity on rounds, so we can maximize our capacity. We flood this entire screen full of corn about, uh, about this thick. And we turn, when we turn this machine on, we blow a bunch of air through the bottom of this gravity in order to separate it, and we also shake it. So what we do is we stratify the corn by air, so anything that's light comes off the gravity table. Anything that's heavy stays on the gravity table. The gravity table shakes, so anything that's on the, on the table gets traction and it works its way up and off that end of the gravity. Anything that's light is lifted up in the air and it works its way to this side of the gravity. So what happens is that we're separating corn um, this direction, on the table, above the table, and it gets separated this direction at that point. What happens is the shakes, we can continue to adjust the air and the shake in order to uh, fine tune this machine. So everything that falls off that end of the table and falls off that end of the table is all good corn. It's all had traction, it's all heavy, it's all has high density, so it works its way off the table. Anything that falls in between this gate is what we call rerun. And what happens is um, it falls into this leg, goes back up in the air and goes right back on the table again. Kind of like the color sorter, it has to, has to finally make a decision if it's good or if it's bad. And then we adjust this gate based on how much trash or how much corn that we have that we want to throw away on this table to fall through this gate. So everything over here is most of the time is all really, really, really good corn. Here's what we call the middling or the rerun that has to have a second time to go through because it hasn't decided which part of the table that it wants to go to. And then this small gate is just for a little bit of discard, it gets thrown away. So we have flats coming up this leg into the sizing machine, which is the first sizer, which sizes our, loud, our, large, um, our large flats and our large rounds that are up on this third floor. Any of the seed that doesn't fall through these holes goes into the large bins on the first floor and anything that falls through these screens go on to the next floor to hit another set of sizers. We have another series of uh, sizing uh, equipment up here that uh, takes corn from the third floor now to the second floor and sizes corn that um, continues to flow through our system. So I'd be remiss to say that a lot of times we size four sizes, uh, two flats and two rounds, what the industry does but we also size a lot of different other ways too. So um, we have to adjust these sizing screens and our flow path, depending on what sizes we wanna make. Now we're in our treater room. So we had seed in those bins waiting to go to the treater. What happens is now we decide which grade sizes that we wanna treat. We pull those, uh, pull the corn out of the bins, send it up the leg um, to the floor that are above us to where we have surge hoppers and uh, fill those surge hoppers and head to, head to these treaters. We have two treaters in here. A mortar main treaters is a continuous flow through or a GLCPS treater, which constantly flows corn through the treater and constantly um, putting our apply in the treatment. The other treater that we have on the other side of the treater room is a batch treater, which holds a batch of corn, treats a batch of corn, and then releases a batch of corn. Two different kinds of treaters for two different two different kinds of applications. We do lots of different colors, as you can tell, lots of different cocktails and uh, combinations. And here's our treater tanks that we have. When we go downstairs, we'll see how we mix chemicals, but we end up mixing uh, a lot of our chemicals downstairs and pumping them up where we get chemicals in bulk. Um, primarily our, our cruiser or our insecticides, we get in bulk and then we pump them up here into these individual tanks. So just to get an overview real quick, those bins that we are seeing up, up there are the, the bins way up in the corner are the bins that the treaters were sitting on, on top of. So we had two treaters. Over there was the um, GLCPS treater that we were looking at most of the time. When the treats, it comes right into those bins that goes right into our packaging equipment. 
Let's check the lookout over here. Here starts the packaging process. We have the scale that sits above um, our packaging equipment. And from here, we have two choices. We can either package in uh, paper bags or we can package in seed boxes or bulk bags. And what we do is we have this trolley that, um, that floats back and forth. So if we want uh, corn to go into a box or a bulk bag, we drop it in on this conveyor and then it drops it into that uh, into a box or a bulk bag. If we want to put it in paper bags, we slide um, the conveyor over on a trolley and then at that point the corn can go through the scale and drop into the paper bags. We load the paper bags into here, it automatically picks up the paper bag um, and hangs it and fills the, fills the bag at a predetermined weight. It drops it, it continues to hold the top of the bag until it, as it takes it from station to station. This is an automatic tag placer. We have uh, the ability to put two different tags on at one time, so it automatically applies the tag as it's headed to the sewing machine. It gets sewed, printed, and gets kicked off. What happens is when it gets kicked off, we're able to adjust this conveyor here in order to move the seed in the, in the bag um, either direction that we need to in order, in order for it to be really flat and really full across from the, the top to the bottom in order for it to stack well. Then we have um, this conveyor that's square tubing. Square tubing uh, really beats the bag just gently enough to vibrate the, uh, the seed across the entire bag and it also helps flatten it out. From here it goes around a curved conveyor into a robot. So for our robot here, we um, um, here, our robot station is here. Our bagging scale and our bagging uh, controls are all right here. So when corn comes around, it's fed into our robot. We used to have pallet stacking here. A lot of times we can have uh, three pallets at a time, empty pallets stacked here on top of each other. The robot has two little suction cups on the end of it, so it swings and pulls the cardboard from the pile of cardboard and applies it to the, uh, the pallet before it starts stacking. Once the cardboard's there, it starts stacking, and uh, once it's done stacking, the robot comes in on the floor truck, breaks the light curtain, picks the, uh, picks the pallet up, and pulls it over there to, to stack it, um, uh, to, to, to wrap the finished pallet. From here, uh, from the wrapper, the floor truck takes it, takes it to the warehouse, that's the end of the line for this tour. Thank you, Aaron, for providing us with that tour. There are a lot of steps that go into uh, how we get down to our perfect seed. So there's a lot of information in that, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's a very interesting process that, uh, like I said, has a lot of details in it that uh, we have to get just right so that we can, in fact, produce the perfect seed. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you got something out of it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want more content from us, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. And if you want even more content from us, you can go subscribe to our monthly Total Focus newsletter. That is linked down in our bio. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. We hope you enjoyed this special tour. We'll see you next time.